Is your stream lagging, stuttering, or looking like a PowerPoint presentation? If you're using a low-end PC and want to stream smoothly, you're in the right place. Today, I'll show you the best OBS settings to fix lag and get the most out of your setup, no expensive gear needed. Let's start with the heart of OBS, the output settings. Go to settings, then output, and set the mode to advanced. For the encoder, choose x264 if you're on a CPU only system. For NVENC, new, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Next, set the rate control to CBR and choose a bitrate between 2500 and 3500 kbps for smooth 720p streaming. If your internet can handle it, you can go a little higher, but test it. Set your keyframe interval to 2, and for CPU usage preset, choose super fast or very fast. This gives you the best performance without killing your CPU. Next up, go to the video tab. Set your base resolution to your monitor's default, usually 1920 by 1080. But for better performance, set your output, scaled, resolution to 1280 by 720, or even 960 by 540 if needed. For the downscale filter, choose by linear, it's the lightest on your system. And finally, set your FPS to 30. It uses way less power than 60 and still looks great. Now, let's trim the fat from your audio. Set your sample rate to 44.1 kHz, and limit yourself to 1 or 2 audio tracks max. In output audio, use bitrate settings of 96 or 128 kbps for your mic and desktop audio. Clean and efficient. Here are 3 bonus performance tips to squeeze every bit of power from your system. Close background apps like Chrome, Discord overlays, and launchers. Turn on Windows Game Mode and disable Xbox DVR. And inside OBS right-click your preview window and enable Performance Mode. This disables Live Preview and frees up system resources instantly. Also, tweak your in-game settings. Lower your resolution to 720p, use medium or low graphics, and cap your frame rate. Stable gameplay equals smoother streaming. And that's it. With these OBS settings, even a budget PC can stream without dropping frames or overheating. If this helped, drop your PC specs in the comments, I'll reply with custom tips. Hit like, subscribe, and stay tuned to TechTray for more no-fluff streaming tutorials. Thanks for watching, and happy streaming!